Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of How to Run on Zwift. In this episode, we are doing the ultimate foot pod battle. A highly anticipated episode, particularly by me. There's been a lot of talk on the Zwift forums about which foot pod is the best foot pod to use. Well, honestly, there are probably no right answers. Apart from there is one right answer, that's the stride. <laughs> Look, I am totally impartial, okay? Let's just do a little test, okay? I've got a few foot pods on and various things. So we've got the Garmin foot pod. We've got the Milestone foot pod. I'm also wearing the Stride foot pod. And then over here, we have the Polar Stride sensor. And we also have the Ticker chest strap. And finally, we're using the MyRun treadmill as a benchmark tool. We're going to set our foot pods to the MyRun treadmill. So let's get going. I'm just going to make myself small in the corner here. So let me just get rid of this resume sign here. Right. And all the foot pods I'm wearing should start to pop up. You can see on the right hand side. So here, uh, there. That tells you what kind of information the foot pod is sending out. Is it Bluetooth or is it Ant Plus? So you can see here, I'm just wearing one Stride foot pod, but the Stride broadcasts in both Ant Plus and Bluetooth. So you can see I have two Strides listed. Uh, the Milestone foot pod is a Bluetooth foot pod. The ticker, this thing, that's a Bluetooth sensor. Myron is Bluetooth. And the Garmin foot pod down there is Ant Plus, and the Polar Run is Bluetooth. None of these have been calibrated, okay? All I'm going to do is I'm going to start running. You can already see that the ticker thinks I'm now currently running at 3.8 kilometers an hour. Why it thinks that, I don't know. What we're going to do is we're going to start running, leave it on this screen. And all the sensors should start to show a pace. We'll start off slow, we'll go to high speed. And then what we'll do is we'll calibrate each foot pod and then do that test again and see how we go, okay? So every foot pod is listed there. There's the polar at the bottom, Garmin, Stride. And oddly, the Garmin is reading 18.4, the Stride uh, Ant Plus is reading 16.6, .6, and the Stride Bluetooth is reading zero. The ticker is reading 3.1. This is without me moving at all, okay? So let's just go up to walking pace of five kilometers an hour. So my the my run treadmill is reading five kilometers an hour. Let's give it a few seconds and see what everything else does. Okay, now you can see we're starting to get some readings. So the Garmin is reading 5.4 kilometers an hour. The milestone is reading good on it, five kilometers per hour. The ticker is reading 5.8. My run is still on five. Garmin is now 5.5. Let's see what the Polar is doing. Polar is reading 4.1 kilometers per hour. So this is with the My Run at five. Right, let's bump it up now. We'll start running at, let's say eight. Let's go up to eight kilometers an hour. Remember, these are all uncalibrated. So we've got the Myron treadmill reading eight kilometers an hour. The ticker uncalibrated, 10.7. The milestone pod is reading nine kilometers an hour, just under. The Bluetooth stride is reading 7.8. The Ant Plus stride is not reading anything at all. And the Garmin is reading 9.5. Jumping up to 25.4, and the oh, now the stride ant plus is reading 10.5. Let's have a look at what the polar is doing. The polar is reading 7.6, 7.7, 7.8. So the polar is not doing too badly. Milestone 8.6. Right now, we'll move up to 10 kilometers an hour. There we are. My run is 10 kilometers an hour. The ticker on my chest is reading about 11 kilometers an hour. The milestone pod is reading 10, around about 10 kilometers an hour. The stride is reading 9.9, 9.8. 9 
The Garmin foot pod is reading 11.6, as we often find. Garmin reads faster, and the Polar is reading 8.6. So remember, we're running at 10 kilometers an hour. The Polar stride sensor is 8.6, 8.7, 8.8. in 11.3. Stride, 9.8. Milestone, 9.9. Ticker is reading fast as well, 11.8. So now let's move the, the treadmill up to 12 kilometers an hour. So there is the My Run treadmill, reading 12 kilometers an hour. The ticker, 13.7, 14.1. The milestone, 11.3. The stride, 11.8. Garmin is reading 12.2 kilometers an hour and now 22 kilometers an hour and the Polar is way behind reading 10.2 way slow so the Garmin is fast the Polar is way slow the stride 11.8 is not far off the milestone 11.3 11.2 is falling behind a bit. Ticker is way fast at 14.7. Right, let's go up to 14 kilometers an hour now. So here we go, 14 kilometers an hour. Give them time to catch up. The ticker is reading 16 kilometers an hour. The milestone 12.4. The stride 13.7, 13.8. So that's the closest. Garmin, 18.1 kilometers an hour. Polar, 11.6 kilometers an hour. I am doing 14 kilometers an hour. Ticker is now 17.3. Milestone, 12.3. Bluetooth stride, 13.8, 13.9. Garmin, 16.2. Polar, 11.6. So here we go with the My Run treadmill at 17 kilometers an hour. The ticker is reading 19.7. The milestone is reading 14.4. The stride, 16.8. 17 now, look at the stride. Garmin, 19.8. Polar. 15 kilometers an hour. Okay, I've had enough. I've stopped. So I've stopped. Ticker is coming down. Milestone has stopped. The stride has stopped. Garmin still thinks I'm running at 18. Now it's stopped. Polar has stopped. Ticker still thinks I'm running. So now we've got to calibrate each foot pod. Do you know what? I'm going to get changed. I'm going to get changed into my running gear because running in jeans and a t-shirt, <laughs> I've just realized at that speed is not a good idea. Okay. So I am now changed into my running gear and I feel a lot better. I'm wearing the ticker. So that's what we're going to calibrate first. Okay. So we'll click on spanner icon. 12.1 kilometers an hour. We're going to calibrate this device. That's so I'm going to set my treadmill at 12.1, 12.1, here we go. So 60 seconds, calibrating at 12.1. This is the ticker X. So that's the ticker done. Next one on the list is the milestone foot pod. So let's go for that. We'll do, we'll do 12.1 kilometers an hour again. So we'll click the spanner. So hopefully the milestone will wake up. Need the milestone to wake up. There we are, finally woken up. Okay, 12.1 kilometers an hour. Milestone foot pod. Calibration, here we go. Device disconnected. Error, please calibrate again. No, device disconnected. 
hang on a minute here we go right now it's now now it says we're connected but this is the problem with a lot of these devices you see they're too troublesome too much faffing about not just doing what they're supposed to be doing device disconnected again right so the milestone is now connected and we are now successfully running at 12.1 kilometers an hour to try and calibrate this darned device <laughs> looks like we might make it seven seconds to go milestone foot pod is now calibrated thank goodness for that the next one is the stride i am not going to calibrate the stride the stride does not need calibrating so let's leave the stride the garmin foot pod 12.1 on the treadmill go 60 seconds to calibrate the Garmin foot pod, the Garmin Ant Plus foot pod. Five seconds left, no dropouts, no disconnections. Garmin is calibrated. So the last one we have to do is the polar stride sensor. There's the polar, so we'll select polar. Away we go with calibration for the polar stride sensor. And that's calibration done for the polar stride sensor. No dropouts, no disconnections. So now we've done calibration for all the devices. The ticker still thinks we are running at 7.4 kilometers an hour, 7.5. All the other devices are stopped. We don't have a milestone at the moment. Right, let's do the ticker first, okay? Right, so this is with the ticker. Now you can see the ticker already thinks I'm moving, which I'm not. So that's, that's a problem to start with. We're, we're walking, but we're not moving at all. Let's start the treadmill. So the calibrated Wahoo Ticker X is reading way too fast at eight kilometers an hour. It's reading 9.6, 9.7. Let's go up to 10. 10 kilometers an hour on the My Run treadmill. Reads as 10.1, 10.5, 10.6. Okay. So it looks like we're about 10.7, 10.8. Jumping around those paces too fast up to 11 now look so the my run treadmill is reading 10 and the ticket x strap is reading 10.7 let's go to 12.1 this is our calibrated speed should be as near to correct as possible 12.1 12.2 12.3 12.4 okay yeah so that is pretty good at the calibrated speed the ticker chest strap is within acceptable limits probably look it's jumping up and below okay so the ticker x is not bad at calibrated speed let's go to 14. this is 14 kilometers an hour 13.9, 14, it hit it, didn't it? Let's go to 17, that's not bad actually. 17 kilometers now, 16.6, 17, come on. That is not bad. You know what? The ticker X is all right. It's jumping around a bit, but. So a bit of a surprise there with the ticker X. Too fast at the slow paces, but get up fast. And it's not too bad. But your problem with the ticker X is it's a bit unreliable in terms of, well, look, we're not stopped, are we? doesn't know when to stop. 
the handy thing about having the ticker X, if you're prepared to put up with it not being quite so good, you get to have heart rate and a foot pod essentially in one unit. Um, but look, yeah, we're still going, aren't we? And, and I've stopped dead. Okay. And now we'll choose the milestone. So we've got the milestone connected there. Let's connect it with a cadence sensor as well. Milestone. Okay. Right, so there's the milestone connected. Let's start the treadmill. So this is the milestone at eight kilometers an hour. Milestone is too fast by miles on here. 9.5. I'm running at eight kilometers an hour, according to the treadmill. All right, let's go up to 10. 10 kilometers an hour. Ten point five, ten point nine, it's too fast. <clears throat> Eleven point one is way too fast. That's way, way, way too fast, isn't it? So, right, let's go to twelve point one. This is where we calibrate it at, so it should be near as damn it should be close 12.2 that is not bad at all 12.3 we're not going to argue with that so if we go up to 15 14 the milestone should be too slow that's what should happen so this will not get to 14 Oh, it's not bad though, is it? 13.7. But it's still slow. So it goes from when you're going at slow speeds, it's too fast. When you're at the calibrated speed, it's about right. And when you're faster than the calibrated speed, it's too slow. Let's just prove that again. 17 kilometers an hour. It will not reach anywhere near 17. And there we are, look. 15.2, 15.1, it's nowhere near 17. Nowhere near. Okay, that's enough of that. So that replicates what we have found in other testing that when you're going slowly, the milestone goes too fast. When you're at the calibrated speed, it's not too bad. And when you're going fast, the milestone goes too slow. So next, the Garmin foot pod. The Garmin foot pod is on Ant Plus. Garmin. Okay. Let's go to eight kilometers an hour. That's not too bad at 8.2, 8.3. We could actually live with that probably. Let's go up to 10 kilometers an hour. 9.7, 10.1, 10 10.3. So even that is not too bad, is it? Maybe we could live with that as well. 10.2, 10.1, 10 10.2. Look at that, 10. Wow. So the calibrated Garmin foot pod is actually sitting quite comfortably at the right pace, isn't it? Look at that. Let's go up to 12, which is where we calibrated at. 12.1. This should be almost bang on. 11.9. We'd live with that, wouldn't we? That is not bad at all. We live with that. 12 kilometers an hour. And there's 12.1. Bang on. Right, 14. 13.8. 13.9. 14. 
14.2, so that is, that is, again, that's, we can live with that, 14, let's try 17, it needs time to get up there, oh, look at that, 17, 16.917, bang on, well done, I'm impressed. Okay. So there we are. That's interesting. Good result for the calibrated Garmin. With calibration, that Garmin foot pod is giving me a darn good result. Almost, you know, give it a bit of time to get up there. So you might be, if you're doing intervals, you're going to be slow to get up to the top speed. And if it's a 200 meter interval, it's going to be done before you get there. But nevertheless, it did get there. So that's interesting. Okay, so that's the Garmin. Thumbs up for the Garmin. Now we try the Polar Stride sensor. And let's connect it as a cadence source as well. And we'll go at eight kilometers an hour. See how it does at that pace. Not doing anything at the moment. There we are, we've started moving. Too fast. 8.8, 8.9, nine kilometers an hour. Way too fast. Okay, so that's, we, we can see that's way too fast. I'm on eight kilometers an hour. The polar stride sensor is reading 9.2. Let's go up to 10. So the My Run treadmill is now reading 10 kilometers an hour. 10.7, still too fast and beyond the margin of error for me. 10.3 is probably the max I would allow. Look at that, 10.8 now, so too fast again. Up to 12. So this is the calibrated speed, 12.1 is the calibrated speed and now the polar is not too far away 11.8 it's now slow there we are 12 so almost bang on at calibrated speed almost let's go to 14 so given that it shouldn't reach 14 at all it should be slower so it looks like we're seeing the same as the milestone foot pod. Too fast at the slower speeds, too slow at the higher speeds. Yeah, 13.1, I'm at 14. And we'll very briefly go up to 17. 15.3, 15 15.4, 15.6, 0.7, 0.8, 16 maybe, but it's still too slow. 16.4, look. So that's the stride sensor, the polar stride sensor, the same as the milestone. Too fast at the slow speeds, pretty much bang on at the calibrated speed, too slow at the fast speeds. Right, so now we're on the Bluetooth stride foot pod. Let's run at eight kilometers an hour. So we're running at eight kilometers an hour. Bluetooth stride has woken up. 7.7, 7.8, 7.9. So it's not actually reached eight. Right, let's move up to 10. 10 kilometers an hour, Bluetooth stride. Remember, this hasn't been calibrated at all. 9.8, 9.9, we could easily live with that. Okay, that's pretty good. 9.9 .9 is pretty, pretty on. 10, there we are, we're on 10 now. Let's go to 12. 12.1. <laughs> So we're at 12 kilometers an hour. 
the treadmill is reading 12.1 so again near as damn it 11.8 11.9 12 near as we're gonna get I think okay up to 14 14 kilometers an hour 13.9 13.8 13.9 again really close just slightly under right let's go up to 17 17 kilometers an hour 16.8 16.9 17 there 16.7 is about our average isn't it that's giving me a bit of a workout bit of an interval session there okay so I think we're done so what we've seen is uncalibrated the stride foot pod beats everything hands down the uh, milestone was too slow the garmin was too fast the polar stride sensor was too slow and the ticket x was too fast then we calibrated everything and we found that the garmin really wasn't too bad a match for the stride actually maybe at slower speeds the garmin was too fast but getting up to the higher speeds the garmin actually didn't do too badly at all and in fact at 17 kilometers an hour was probably closer to 17 than the stride we have to admit on my test there but we know that the milestone and the polar stride sensor classic they were okay at the calibrated speed but any slower than that and they run too fast any faster than the calibrated speed and they, they can't keep up they're too slow uh, so that's the polar stride sensor and the milestone the ticker x surprised us um, thought it was going to do exactly the same as the milestone and the polar but actually held on quite well at the higher speeds and didn't do too badly so do you know what that's it's not a bad bet really i mean for a heart rate monitor and a speed and cadence sensor in Zwift, if you don't want to spend an awful lot of money on a heart rate monitor and a foot pod, you might, you might do all right getting the, the uh, Ticker X, although it does have those issues with starting and stopping, doesn't it? It didn't know that we weren't moving, basically. It, it kept going. But that's it, I think. I think we're done. I think we can say, from my test today, unscientific as it was, we can say that the Stride and the Garmin are the clear winners there. If, but if you are on a Bluetooth connection, you really need to look at the Stride if you can afford it. Um, and also the Ticker X is a good budget option. Um, the Milestone and the Polar, probably, you know, starter entries, but steer clear of if you're going to be doing intervals and those kind of things, because they won't, they won't stick with it. Or you'll just be running a lot faster than you actually need to to get up to speed also worth considering um, you know if you've got the money to spend on a bluetooth connected treadmill do that and also the other option that i haven't reviewed yet that i am going to review at some point is the tread tracker which is a little wheel that you stick under your treadmill and measures the speed of the belt of your treadmill so that's also something worth thinking about and that's it for this issue of how to run on zwift thank you very much for watching do please subscribe to the film my run website do please go and look at the zwift runners facebook page to get any more information about zwift um, and also do have a look at the rest of the videos in this how to run on zwift series take care see you again for another how to run on zwift very soon bye bye